what I'm going to start with, because it really it comes down to we can look at anything. And if we're studying the principles of energy and the science of energy, we can take that understanding and apply it to ourselves. Because the principle is inviolate. It doesn't matter if you're studying the atom, a sun, uh, a body of water, a molecule. When we understand energy and how it functions, and we, we can apply that to everything, because it's not like there's a separate principle for us and separate principle for that and separate principle for that. There's a unity. There's a unified field. The universe is one. It's a whole. Anyway, we'll start with the sun. And into the sun, I'm going to raise a little bit here. We are going to show what we've all seen before, a vortex. We're going to show one coming down into it and one coming out the other end. And as we're looking at these things, we should keep in mind that this is an algebraic formula. It's a, it's a geometry. Um, yes, there are fourth dimensional vortexes, but I doubt very seriously they look like this. This is something so that we can grab a hold of and begin to say, oh, I see. I can draw a parallel here. I can uh, assimilate what is being said in the books and use it. Uh, the sun itself is the end of a vortex, a cosmic centrifuge. What is happening fourth dimensionally is what is making the sun what it is. So what we are learning is that life is an energy psychic fourth dimensional proposition, okay? And we'll go into that and follow it up so you see what we're talking about.